Good evening. I'm going to keep this one short as it's like 1 a.m. right now. I got the first batch of ties completed. They are currently drying. They have been cut <coughs> and stained. I have them on my little temporary indoor track here. And uh, I have them on top of my flat car, and uh, for those of you that work for the post office, yes, I am going to be reusing those boxes for shipping. A few drops that spill on them, I will not hurt them. But anyways, uh, I got about a third of the ties done. Uh, I'm glad I only did, well, did a third to begin with, as uh, now I think I got the whole process down pat probably do a couple thousand of these quicker than I did this first third, which was like about, I think this is what, about 200, 250-ish, i got to recount, um, but what I am doing is, because uh, it is only about 10 degrees outside, my garage is only about 40 degrees, they'd never cure or fully dry uh, the, uh, the stain. So what I'm doing is I have them on my flat car, stacked every which way. The first layer is on top of uh, angle iron. So you can see the angle iron down there. And I have them all stacked without touching each other. Uh, so airflow can get in between them. And then I did the crisscross style as airflow. can still flow between and kind of zigzags a little bit and uh, you might be wondering what I'm using to dry these a fan? No what I got and I should have did a how to install video when I come on so, the mantle place is black it's a little hard to see but I have more flame going. I just got nice coals going. I got the damper shut for the night. Try to make it last through the night. This thing kicks out a lot of heat. There we go. It's blowing out uh, probably 120, 130 degrees. Blowing out right here. So that is coming across and blowing on here, no, there's really not too much smell. It's a little bit of smell, but not much. And that's kind of baking and uh, and drying, help drying these out. These should be probably cured by the morning as long as that fire keeps going. Oh, so much for me keeping this short. But uh, yeah, the ties turned out. Very nice. Got that little bit of a rustic feel. And since the ends are more porous than the rest due to the cuts, uh, I just used a brush. I gave up on my other idea of using a sponge, but went very quickly with a, with a brush. Um, averaged about four seconds per, 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 uh, per cut. And you know what? I think I missed one. I'll have to touch that up tomorrow. Not doing it now. I already washed all my brushes. I'll just use like a cotton swab or something and dabble that one up. So there you have it. Only about 450-ish more to go. Have a good night. See you next video. Uh, what's my next video going to be? Well, I suppose next video for the ties, not the whole railroading thing, since I got pretty much a whole giant playlist going for building a uh, backyard railroad. The next step will be once those are cured, I will be attaching it, <coughs> attaching two rails. Is that stain on my carpet? Yeah, apparently.
no big deal. I got two kids and a niece, so it's not going to be the end of it. Sure, I'll be getting new carpet within the next couple years, even though this is already only three years old. But, uh, very high traffic family. But, uh, see, uh, in each metal tie on the rails, there are two screw holes. And I have, uh, special deck screws that um, we'll put through. Um, these will not, the deck screws I have won't cause any issues with, uh, with the metal here or with the wood. And they're special grip, gripping ones, triple coated or something like that that they call them. I'll show you in that video uh, what the, uh, the screws look like and whatnot. So, see you next video. Good night.